Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lights, Camera, Action. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a film trailer. Let's go and open up the software. I'm using Cyberlink Power Directory 13, but there are newer versions out there. So we're going to go to Full Feature Editor. So, okay, these are default scenes. I'm going to go ahead and delete them. All right, so let's get into editing this uh, film trailer. Okay, so we are going to go and make this trailer uh, disclaimer scene that you all are, I'm pretty sure you're aware of. It's a familiar scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This is a standard green color that I found. Because we need to know what um, fonts we're going to be using, I've, we, I've searched online and found an exact um, usage of these fonts. So, for example, over here, it says that we've used Arial Bold, Arial Narrow Bold, Black Regular. So we can use these fonts to create our text. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. So we'll go to our text tab, click on this text, and we're going to double click. And now we're going to take Arial, which should be right here. So um, it'll take a, a little while and I think I'm going to just speed this process up. So this is the green disclaimer. I've put it on for how much is this? Two and a half, two, around two and a half seconds. But um, you can keep it for, I think, best time would be three seconds is the best four seconds at the most now what we're gonna do is we're going to to get those signature bars that these cinematic bars they have from the top and the bottom so what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna take a small we're gonna take any background which is a black background and what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna crop the image and we're gonna freeform and change the width of it. the height sorry change the height now what we're gonna do is just move it up and do the same for the bottom so just copy paste perfect and move it down okay so for this trailer what i've chosen is i've chosen the song don't panic which is originally created by coldplay and but the version that clarity had sang this is around four and a half minutes it's way too long for a trailer so what we need to do is we need to trim it down now we'll go ahead and use audio director for the trailer what we're going to do is we're going to remove a section of this which is We're going to remove that part and we are going to kind of merge it with the later on part which is basically the same so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll show you the end product i've trimmed the music at points where i feel that they can cross over very easily with other parts of the song so based on my storyboard we are gonna i'm gonna just edit this film and at moments where I feel like you guys need to know what's happening, I'll show you um, a short how-to at that moment. Okay, so we've come back after editing a lot of clips and what I'll show you first is I've got these titles and they're really cool. Let me show you. I've actually created them in Photoshop. I got fonts of font space, for example. There's that 1001 fonts. They're different types, so you can search up the fonts and you can get loads of fonts and then download them. Many are for free, majority are for free, and uh, install them into your software and then you can keep them forever. <music> Okay guys, so I've edited a little bit more of the trailer and I've added a few more scenes. I added this flicker kind of effect. It literally seems as if it's lights flickering. It'll be like that effect. So um, what I did was I took two frames on the, I clicked onto the next frame and what I did was I split it and then I, and then I moved it to uh, another space. I left one frame space and then I put it there. It sounds confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. Now what I did was you have the scene over here and if we go measure it, it's two frames, right? What I did was I moved it one space and then I, I kept cutting a scene 
by splitting. How you can split is you can go on your keyboard and you can put Control T or you can go and press split over here. But I, I usually use a keyboard shortcut, they're much easier. But you can split it from here. So you split it and then you move it to a certain like location. Just move it one frame space each and then it'll give that flicker effect. That is basically how you do it. There may be other overlays or you know other ways to do it more easily, but I just use this way and it works out. So yeah, it doesn't take that long. What I did was I used this wormhole um, transition, which you can find over here. So it's right over here. It's the same transition and it transitions to a black screen where it's written Sherlock. And I got this text same way. I used Power Projector and what I did was I used uh, Sony Vegas and I animated it. So it looked as if it was actually written. So I did that and I got fountain pen scribble writing sound effect from YouTube again and downloaded it and used that and used certain parts of it so it will go really well. But that is basically it. This is the trailer and it um, goes black at the right moment. A key thing I would say about trailers is make sure that your trailer scenes go with the music. Now that we're done with the trailer, we're gonna go to produce. Okay, and then we're gonna choose our settings. I'm gonna choose the normal MP4 so it can play on any computer, uh, Windows or Mac. Choose the best settings, which is gonna be 1920 by uh, 1080, 16. And then um, check the settings, rename your file. And then you just start. It will take a while depending on how big the file is, but once it's done, I'll show you the final video. Okay, so now the video has been produced and let's go watch it. So that was the trailer and I hope you liked it. Um, it was so much fun making it and it really, these type of projects really help test your skills and polish them. And I'm putting all the links in the description below so you guys can just get your hands on all these resources and it'll be great. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and please stay tuned for more.